Anthropology by the Wire is a multimedia research project on urban and visual anthropology in Baltimore that is part of a National Science Foundation research experience for undergraduates grant at Towson University, directed by Dr. Matthew Durrington and Dr. Samuel Collins. In this project, students conduct collaborative research on different communities in Baltimore, utilizing anthropological methods through the lens of a public anthropology with a variety of digital media. The goals of the project are to provide access to four-year universities for community college students, create media for our community partners to use in their endeavors, and raise the critical consciousness of participants by exposing them to a variety of communities and issues while simultaneously providing a skill set in research methods and digital media. Our premise is to create images of Baltimore urban life to stand beside the representational burden placed upon the citizens of Baltimore by media such as the landmark television series The Wire. Simultaneously, these anthropologically intended media productions are done by The Wire through a variety of digital platforms. The initial iteration of this project in the summer of 2011 started with the recruitment of 12 community college students from the area. After two weeks of intensive classroom lectures, research method training, and digital media production workshops with a variety of faculty, these students, along with the principal investigators and undergraduate learning assistants, engaged a number of different projects with community participants. These projects ranged from instrumental digital media production to the utilization of different research methods throughout Baltimore City. Students attended workshops led by community residents and organizers, introducing them to field sites in Baltimore's neighborhoods. While working on ethnographic projects using diverse methodologies and forms of data gathering, including visual anthropology, participant observation, social network analysis, interviews, and archival work, students simultaneously collected and analyzed data with the assistance of and in cooperation with community participants. These projects take many forms, but all include multimedia representations of the lives of people and neighborhoods that can be utilized by them in their own efforts to develop their communities. Students attended neighborhood functions, met local activists, and interfaced with different levels of local and regional government. Collectively, students in the project participated in the documentation of City Uprising, a day of free HIV testing at over seven different sites throughout Baltimore with the Jocks Initiative and Gallery Church. Students also worked with a local activist in Southwest Baltimore running for city council, conducting a media survey of constituents in this area of the city. And students were able to work with Habitat for Humanity of the Chesapeake to document the transition to home ownership for over eight new Habitat residents in East Baltimore. For our direct community projects, students were divided into four production units, each working with a different community. Group one worked with the West Baltimore Farmers Market to document their efforts to remedy the effects of food deserts in this part of the city and provide healthy food access to urban residents. Group two worked with a new community group called Friends of West Baltimore Squares, a new organization dedicated to the celebration of West Baltimore's unique historic squares and parks through events, outreach, and advocacy, uniting residents from Union Square, Lafayette Square, Harlem Park, Franklin Square, and Perkins Square behind redevelopment efforts and other socioeconomic issues. Groups three and four worked in the community of Sharp Leadenhall, one of the city's most historic African-American neighborhoods in South Baltimore. One group documented the efforts of the Clean and Green Team, a youth works project that tasked four youth from Sharp Leadenhall to assist in beautification efforts in the neighborhood. And another group continued an oral history project in Sharp Leadenhall seeking to document the rich history of longtime community residents and those displaced through urban renewal processes. After the intensive immersion research experience was completed in July of 2011, students left Towson and are spending the next eight months editing video, analyzing data, and completing projects for presentation to the community, the faculty, and hopefully the next group of students recruited for the subsequent iteration of the project in June of 2012. During this time, students maintain a virtual community with other participants, including faculty and community associates, for additional collaboration and mentorship. In addition, faculty remain in contact with student cohorts in order to facilitate transition to four-year universities and to assist with efforts to disseminate results. Finally, our collective website, anthropologybythewire.com, is a repository for all of these efforts and is a platform for the various media projects from the collective group and is the visual manifestation of the research process and our efforts to engage and practice a public anthropology with our collaborators in Baltimore City.